let's plot points in the rectangular coordinate system. For example, let's plot these five points. To form the rectangular coordinate system, we intersect two number lines, a horizontal one and a vertical one, as follows. This point here, where these two number lines intersect, is called the origin. And the horizontal number line we call the x-axis. And the vertical number line we call the y-axis. Now we use an ordered pair of numbers, x, y, to represent each point in this plane, or the rectangular coordinate system. This first number we call the x-coordinate. And it tells us how far to move right or left from the origin. And the second number here is called the y-coordinate. And this tells us how far to move up or down from where this x-coordinate placed us. So looking at our first point here, 4, 2, we see that the x-coordinate is 4, which means from the origin we go to the right 4 units. And then the y-coordinate is 2, which means from this point we go up 2 units. So this here would be the point 4, 2. All right, what about the second point? 0, negative 2. We see that the x-coordinate here is 0, which means we don't move to the right or the left from the origin. And then the y-coordinate is negative 2, which means from the origin we go down to. That is, this is the point 0, negative 2. All right, and what about our third point here? We see that the x-coordinate is negative 6, which means from the origin we go to the left 6 units. And then the y-coordinate is 9, which means from this point we go up 9 units. That is, this is the point, negative 6, 9. All right, what about this fourth point here? The x-coordinate is negative 7, which means from the origin we go to the left. 7, and the y-coordinate is negative 5, which means from that point we go down 5. That is, this is the point, negative 7, negative 5. And finally, what about this last point here? The x-coordinate is 7 which means we go to the right from the origin, 7 units. And then the y-coordinate is negative 8, which means from that point we go down 8 units. Namely, this is our last point here, 7, negative 8. And this is how we plot points in the rectangular coordinate system. And by the way, the rectangular coordinate system is often referred to as a Cartesian coordinate system as well. Thank you.
and we'll see you next time.